guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome my name is Priya aka Beauty in the Books and we do all things beauty and book based here obviously so if that sounds like a little bit of you then you know what to do um, but today we have a book review for you guys and we are reviewing When Women Were Dragons by Kerry Barnhill um, this one is by Hotkey Books as the publisher. I got it last year at Yelp because it was very, there's a lot of hype, like it was selling out. I like pre-bought this while they ran to the office and got the last few copies. Yeah, there was a lot of hype and a lot of interest about this one when I was at Yelp, la la la, when I was at Yelp last year. Now, did that hype and interest translate now that I have read it? Not quite. I'm going to tell you now, I've given it a 3 out of 5, and I think that's kind of generous, so if you want to know why it's a 3 out of 5, then just keep on watching. <laughs> what I got from this was that it was going to be about dragons, it was going to be like really intense and like action packed and just a lot going on, like women have just turned into dragons and flew away. Like there's, you know, there's got to be stuff. Um, but no, that doesn't quite happen. That was not the case. So we'll go through it bit by bit. Um, I think I'll start off with the characters because that's just the easiest bit. I'm not gonna lie, they're all a little bit meh. Um, none of them I really cared for. Maybe Beatrice and maybe the librarian because they were probably the only interesting ones there. Alex was just a little bit dry. Um, I did get the fact that she was very driven. Um, she was very strong and she had a lot of repressed trauma. Um, and I understand that. But generally she was kind of dry and I just was a bit like, right, okay. So yeah, obviously it is a overall comment on the way that women are treated and behaved and were expected to behave in the 1950s. Um, her dad, just an oppressive husband, obviously. Um, the librarian was pretty cool. She seemed like a bit of a badass. I could do a spin-off about her, to be fair. But otherwise, they're all just a bit meh. I mean, her her sister Beatrice um, seemed just a little bit kooky doolally, wasn't letting society corrupt her yet. Um, very carefree child. Um, so I like that because it was a welcome distraction to everyone else just being so boring. <laughs> Everybody, even like her auntie Marla and her mum, just boring. I, they were all just a bit men, none of them really invoked anything in me and that was that. Okay, so the next one, we'll go over to the, the writing itself, kind of what that was like and how the book was laid out. Um, so the book is probably like kind of like a historical memoir. So it's written from Alex's point of view now that she's an adult and it's very reflective and looks back on her life during this period of time. There's also a lot of like historical articles, and academic articles that are like, um, put into the book at various different spaces about wider issues that were going on around that time and it does add a little bit of context to what else was going on beyond this little Wisconsin town um so that's kind of how it's laid out kind of I'd say it's kind of magical realism-esque too um but I kind of I, I enjoyed the way that it was written it was different um but I did really like it it was easy to read um and yeah, just easy to go on with. The chapters were relatively short. Um, it didn't drag on too long. Um, yeah, so writing-wise, I think it was all right. <laughs> so now onto the plot itself. Um, I feel like I was missold slightly. <laughs> and I don't know if that was just my interpretation because I went on Goodreads and I feel like a fair few people had a very similar interpretation of what this book was going to be. And when it didn't turn out to be the case, we were all very upset. <laughs> um, so first thing I would have to say the book is quite political it is a feminist book um but it is also quite vague so a lot of the things and even the dragons themselves are up to a lot of interpretation especially after looking on goodreads and reading other people's reviews some people re see the dragons themselves as a metaphor and like did they even turn in the end or were they just transformed beings um and this is just it from a childlike perspective and just putting them as dragons were just a way that's easier for them to comprehend this um there's also some reviews and thoughts out there that think it's a comment on um transness and being trans and transitioning into your like better self your true self um that's 
sort of thing. Um, I, for one, just read them as dragons, <laughs> which, to be fair, as a wider metaphor, it makes sense. I have to say, because of the vagueness and how political it is, it would work well as a book studied for like gender studies or something like that, because you can you can pull a, pull a correlation between what was actually going on at the time um, and what's written in the book and all those other contextual things that would aid the reading experience. I think that would be very good, to be fair. Um, and another thing, I think there's just a lot of inconsistencies. Again, I don't know if that's just because of how young the protagonist is or um, how metaphorical the dragons are um, but yeah at one point it's deemed that like the dragons turn because of their rage and another point is deemed that they turn because of spontaneity another point is deemed that it's only women but then towards the end of the novel I think we're disclosed to one instance of it there being a male as well um, uh, but then again the whole novel is written kind of in a scientific researchy esque way so i and it is kind of mentioned quite frequently that the science isn't always right and the whole point of being a scientific mind is accepting that you're going to get things wrong so i don't know if that also goes into that nuance that kind of narrative of they thought it was this way no it wasn't they thought it was that way no it wasn't it, they thought it was that way and no it wasn't um so there's, there's basically there's a lot of things that are open to interpretation in this book so i think it's very much what you take from it for me i just read it as a book whereby women that just turn into dragons for feminist and political reasons um and society is just left to deal with the remnants um and this poor girl just wants to study wants to be really good at something because she is really good at something um and she gets left in the lurch and the odds are stacked against her but she has a few people looking out for her and she comes out on top um <laughs> so yeah i think it's a very meh book and i am quite sad about it i'm not gonna lie so yeah there is my review i'd like to caveat that if this was something i was studying I would have loved it there was so much stuff to think about and to talk about in that it is a little bit repetitive and then it does mention the same points quite frequently um but again that could be a whole metaphor for just the way that alex is feeling in this repetitive society that's just oppressing her 24 7 we'll never know um but yeah that's it i'm gonna stop talking now uh but yeah that is it for this review if you've read this book please let me know what your interpretation is in the comments because i would be really intrigued to know um but yeah that's it thank you very much for watching if you like this video there are plenty more where this came from so don't forget to like comment subscribe and all of the good stuff down below and i'll see you in the next one bye that is probably a little bit too dark isn't it my hair is a little bit of a mess okay hey. okay some little time comment on I think I might be a little bit too light then I might have to like oh, contextual I hope that made sense I hope that made sense oh the cobweb oh my god I'm naked where's the book where's the book cool 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 that's it we're done